she's going to bring him up in a few. While we are working on our Operation Edgemont, we want to go ahead and dive a little bit deeper. We have none here with us. You may know him from Edgemont. You may know him from TV with the Holland Gold Trotters. We have none other than Chris Handel Franklin with us here today.
So I would watch, I saw the Harlem Globetrotters on the cartoon Scooby-Doo. And I picked up a bar and I never stopped dribbling. So I would study the Harlem Globetrotters, study every aspect of the Harlem Globetrotters. I knew everything about them before I even got my opportunity. Waiting for an opportunity to seize the moment. So after I graduated from college, I went after my goal, and it didn't quite work out. The Globe Charters were interested, but they told me no. <laughs> what did I do? I kept going. I kept going after my goal or after my dream, right? And then I got an opportunity to seize the moment. See, I had moved to New York City and kind of made a name for myself as a good dribbler. And when I finally had that opportunity to seize the moment, I was a replacement for the world's best dribbler contest. Wow. A replacement. I went there to All-Star Weekend, and it was all of these great dribblers from all over the world. The winner from New York City, the winner from Philadelphia, the winner from Miami, the winner from Chicago, and the little old me from Edgemont. A replacement. Well, when I finally got the opportunity, I got to this place in, in Washington, D.C. is where it was. And when I got there, they gave me uh, two free pair of sneakers, a jacket, and a bag. And I didn't care whether I went along. <laughs> I was so happy to get that. And the head of Nike, it was a Nike competition. The head of Nike, I went to this place. It was judged by some of my favorite uh, basketball players, uh, Vince Carter, Rasheed Wallace, Gary Payton, Jason Kidd, wow. they were the judges, and it was a packed gym, and I was just replacing them from Harrisburg, and the head of Nike came to me and they said, um, aren't you going to warm up, aren't you going to prepare, see everyone was out there preparing for what they did, and I said, no, I'm okay, <laughs> see I had been preparing for that moment my entire life. Waiting for the opportunity to seize the moment. And when it was my time, or my turn, <coughs> I kind of took the basketball and I started off, I started off up. Oh, I started off with a spin and I kind of took it up and under. Then I kind of got tricky with it and I, pulled, and I dribbled and I slid on my knees. And when I slid on my knees, I saw Gary Payton jump out of the seat. And I started sliding backwards on one knee. And then I got on the ground. When I got on the ground, I kind of sat there for a sec. And then I went under, around, went under, up. Looked at everybody as I started doing my tricks with the ball. I wrapped the thing around, then I dropped it. It shook a little bit. <laughs> And uh, from there, I had so many opportunities. 
Uh, before live on MTV with rap artist Jay Z, I did a Broadway play with LL Cool J. Uh, met it before, and did things with Billionaire Warren Buffett three different times. I was on uh, Eight Soul Food in St. Louis at Sweetie Pies on Oprah's own network. I was on Good Morning America, the Day Show, the Wendy Williams Show, Dr. I, a Disney show called uh, Dog with the Blog. He even played basketball at the White House before we're president for Barack Obama. I had the opportunity to ride a camel outside the pyramids of Egypt. I've been to the top of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. I've walked the Great Wall of China in Beijing. I've been to China 14 times. I've been to the top of the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building in Dubai. I've held a koala bear fedicator rule in Australia. I've walked the shores of New Zealand, been inside of Jesus Christ's tomb in Jerusalem. I've traveled to 84 countries around the globe. As a matter of fact, on Wednesday, I had to Dubai to stay. But I say all that to say, um, Greatness is within each and every one of us. And that same formula is simple. Number one, trust and believe in God and know that God has your back at all times. Second, believe in yourself and believe that your dreams and goals can come true. This is not just a, a something I'm saying to young folks. It's definitely, but it's never too late to be great for each and every single person. See, when I wanted to be a Harlem Globetrotter, when I finally got the opportunity to be a Harlem Globetrotter, they said it was too late. They said, you're too old to be a Globetrotter. I'm currently in my 15th year with the world famous part of Globetrotter. It's never too late to be great. Believe in yourself. And last but not least, prepare for greatness. Be the best you that you can be. And when opportunity arises, seize the moment. Thanks for having me. Virginia, in the Edgemont community. Solid Rock, are you with us? Yeah. You stand with us.